Hi, betting experts. On Saturday, March the 16th, we've got cracking ITV7 on Saturday after a really busy week at Cheltenham. We're off down to Kempton in Sunbury, uh, where the ground's dried out pretty dramatically. I should think it's heading towards good ground there, with the weather forecast looking dry. Utoxta, well, that's the opposite. Heavy ground there. Had standing water early in the week. It's going to be a real slog. Hopefully, you've found a few winners to cap what's been a profitable week. We start off with our betting expert, Daily Nap, sponsored by Bet365. It runs in the 335 at Utoxeter, the Bet365 Novice Handicap Chase, a three-mile Class 2, and here, I think, the changing man holds outstanding form claims. Now, he was a winner in the mud at Utoxeter over hurdles, one of three wins in that spear. He's gone chasing this season. He's been pitched in extremely deep. If you read back through his four runs... They've all come in pretty strong company in races that have worked out well. He shaped nicely um, in a race won by Stay Away Faye and Giovinco, who's come out and run really well at the festival this week. Uh, little chance there. Last time out um, at Exeter in January, he ran behind Top of the Bill, who's a prolific winner of Nigel Twist and Davis. He watched that run back. He was dropped out last, never really landed a blow, but he did shape quite nicely. He's been eased a few pounds since. He's back to your Toxter on soft ground here. Heavy ground, in fact. I think that's what he needs. Brendan Powell's booked down in the weights. I think you'll get a much more positive ride here. Hopefully, he'll be a fair price. There should still be plenty more improvement in the tank after just four career starts over fences. Our betting expert value angle selection sponsored by Bet365 runs in the 150 at Utoxta. It's the never ordinary at Bet365 handicap hurdle. Two mile four, class three, four year olds and up. It's a quality race this. I think Monviel should now be poised to strike for Harry Derham now. He's a handicapper who remains open to plenty of improvement after just three runs for the yard this winter. He was formerly with Philip Hobbs, capable of decent form from higher marks in stronger company there. And I thought he shaped quite nicely last time out, again under a pretty patient ride. He's tumbling down the weights. Derham flying along at the minute, places his horses carefully. I think he's got everything in his favour here to win at, again, what should be an attractive price. The remaining five races on ITV on Saturday, we'll do them in time order, to Kempton, the 135, a novice limited handicap chase over two mile two. Well, Bo Balco has been running really well over fences this season in warm company. He has gone up the weights um, for last time out, but he's got drying ground conditions very much in his favour. He's a smooth traveller with a turn of foot, and I think Harry Cobden will be looking to pounce after the last. Back to Kempton for the 2.10, a competitive handicap hurdle over 2 mile 5. Well, classic anthem comes from the Jim Boyle yard, which would be better known for winners on the flat from his Epsom base. But this one has been progressing nicely over hurdles this winter until faltering up the Sandown Hill last time out. The Sandown hurdle course is as bad as it gets um, in terms of sapping the finish out of horses and I can always forgive a bad run there. I think the return to this flatter track and crucially some decent spring ground will definitely suit regular rider Robbie Dunn's booked and I think this one remains with plenty of upside in handicaps. A strongly run race should set things up nicely for him to pounce late on. Over to Utoxida, the 225, a handicap hurdle over nearly three miles. Well, Loop de Mould comes from the Robbie Llewellyn stable that's had a fantastic winter transforming plenty of other people's car stops. His consistent stayer should now be spot on fitness wise after two runs so far this winter. I thought he shaped pretty nicely at Ascot and at Huntingdon. And I think the deeper ground here and a proper test of stamina should suit. The handy three pound claimer, Toby Wynn, is really good value for his claim too. And I think Loop de Mould seems sure to give his running again. Back to Kempton, the 245, a handicap chase over two mile four and a half furlongs, a specialist trip, and Phlegmatic's got a fantastic record at Kempton over this trip. He's a sound jumper, a smooth traveller. Again, you always sense he's the sort of horse who's going to come alive in the spring. He's got everything in his favour here, and Dan Skelton comes into this Saturday race with a on a real high after a cracking double at the festival on Wednesday. Phlegmatic, sure to give his running again. He's a very reliable performer. For all, there might be one or two others slightly better treated in this handicap. I think he's the one who's most certain to give his running. And finally, to your talks at 3 o'clock, the big betting race of the afternoon, the Midlands Grand National. This will take probably 10 minutes to run. It's over four mile two on heavy ground. My silver lining looks the one to side with here, around about eight to one. Emma Lavelle's likeable star has been an absolute model of consistency 
Chelsea all season. She travels strongly under a patient ride from regular rider James Best. I've no doubt the marathon four mile two furlong slog in the mud will definitely suit. She posted a career best effort on the figures when a cracking second last them out. She's bound to give her running again and go really close. Best of luck with all seven ITV races on Saturday betting experts and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos.